I can't move it, Penny. We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. Master 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. did today, Norman. I know. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. But I did get some very good film of you, Penny. Hmm. You won't get round us that easily, Norman Price. No, Norman. I think you're going to be in a lot of trouble when you get home. Oh. But I might have a use for this. Right. Time to watch the news. This better not be about you again, Elvis. Well, let's see, shall we? Today, local tourist spot Ponty Pandy Lake was the scene of a dramatic rescue. Luckily, once again, Fireman Sam was on hand to save the day. But this time, he tells us he wasn't the real hero. It was firefighter Penny Morris's underwater bravery that made this rescue possible. Yes, and you overpriced, oversized bucket of junk. Switch off now, and that's an order! Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, no, sir, I don't think that's a... Switch on to pool party mode. <laughs> Ooh, tropical. Oh, oh, a wizard's battle has caused a wildfire in the mountains, and it's spreading quickly. I think it's going to be one of those days. There, all out. Sparklers and dry grass? Not a good mix, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I was just trying to be extra magical. You know what would be really magical? If you stayed out of trouble for the rest of the day. The final scene will be danger-free, I promise. Well, let's hope so. And now, the big blue flying scene! Pick one! No, Norman. That zip wire is really high up. It's all part of my mega magical special effects. I want this movie to go viral, remember? I want so many hits, I break the internet. The only thing you'll break is your leg. I'll be OK. I am an ace director. Oh, I can't look. Master Wizard is dangling from a zip wire above the waterfall, hanging upside down by his foot. I should have seen that one coming, really. It's really cheap! 
Oh, this is a cliffhanger. I can barely watch. Oh, I hope Sam reaches him soon. Me too. I'm almost out of storage space. Gotcha. This could be a mysterious meeting place. <laughs> I told you, and I told you. Oh. They are sending signals to the moon men. No, they're not. I know what this is. <gasps> I, I feel a bit sick. Well, I don't know about moon men. But there might be quite a lot of people out there in a very small boat. The tide is pulling us out. And look out for the telescope! Mind that all! Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Pickalilly. Will you please stop calling me Professor Pickalilly? Oh, sorry. I meant pickles. I like Pickalilly. No, 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 no! Here. And I need backup. Call the fire station, Hannah. I'm going out there to see if I can help. Hello? Um, uh, there's a boat. Uh, and it's, uh... A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. I'll get down to the Ocean Rescue Centre. <sighs> I think I need a day off. Tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way. Look! That must be from Sam. Are we glad to see you, Sam? Is everyone okay? We're all fine, Sam. Just a bit wet. Right, help is here. Let's get you all out of the water. There's Moose, Steel, Lizzie, Sarah, and James. Oh, and here comes Norman, who is about to complain. <laughs> My feet are so sore. And here comes Hannah, looking dandy, but where, oh, where is the horse and Mandy? We need to find them. Come on, Lizzie. Prince go this way, and from the look of it, I'd say Mandy and the horse skidded in this direction, all the way over to here. There they are. <gasps> I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah! Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. Careful, Penny. We're about to head onto unsteady ground.
Mandy, are you hurt? Sam's ready. The stretch is ready. Then let's go. <laughs> How's the horse? He was very scared, but I patted him and told him not to worry. Ah, oh, well done, Mandy. The horse is very calm. Now, let's give him a check. OK, Mandy. To get you up, just to be safe, I need you to lie on a stretcher. Lie flat for me. The horse is fine. We're ready for Phoenix's crane. Oh! The noise is scaring the horse. Old Phoenix. There. on my nerves. Norman, are you okay? I'm fine. Now, where's the cat gone now? Wait, Norman. Don't scare it. I can't catch the cat. I think we have bigger problems. I'll get my dad. Sam, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Hannah, I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. Better call Lizzie to come and check the cat's okay. The fire's out, Sam. To me! Oh, no! Quick! Stand back, everyone, and get up wind! <laughs> James! James! I'm up here! Oh. Oh. Don't worry, James. Just keep calm. You're going to be fine. Just hold on tightly with your hands and move your right foot down. Oh, That's it, James. Just a bit further and I'll be able to reach you. Uh, well done, James. I can get you from there. Now let go of the tree. Oh, got you. I was trying to call Fireman Sam, but I don't need to now you're here. Oh. Maybe we do need to call Fireman Sam. There is 
a forest fire near the mill. There's a forest fire near the mill. And the wind is making it spread quickly. Yeah, and the wind is making it spread quickly. We're on our way, sir. Penny, bring Jupiter and meet us at the mill. Roger that, Sam. Your shirt anyway, Norman. It's... Here's Fireman Sam! Looks like the fire's spreading fast, Sam. Ellie, you operate the outlets on Jupiter. Come on, Penny! Let's put out that fire! Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. Come on, James! The prince is waiting! Don't look down! Oh, no! I hate... Yep. We know, James. You hate rope bridges across ravines. But you're nearly here. Gotcha! Now it's just me to go. Let me show you lot how it's done. You show him, Big T! What's that sheep doing? What? Sheep? Um, looks like it's eating the rope. No, 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 no! Go away, sheep! You're not wanted here! Go and eat something Shoes. else! Come on, Tom! You're a wild man! Uh-oh. <laughs> Shoulder! I can't climb out! I think we better call Fireman Sam, eh? I can't see anything. Neither can I. I can with my Viewmaster 2000. What are they doing? Well, it doesn't look like they managed to find a toy for the little prince. Oh. But it does look like Dillis managed to sell them a jar of pickles from the discount aisle. Dillis will be pleased. She's been trying to use those up before they go out of date. Oh, they're coming out. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Roger that, sir. Um, but, sir, if Tom is stuck on a ledge, who's going to fly the rescue helicopter? I can fly a helicopter. Oh. Sam, that was a close one.